Thank you for joining me on the On This Mountain Network, and my name is Derek. In this video, I'm going to make a reply to the End the Paper Ponzi video in which I did for the contest. I apparently got a message, I don't know if it's from one of Da Vinci's friends or not, I think it is, who was saying how my entry should not be valid for it because I support the Paper Ponzi. Once again, this is his decision. He has free will. If you don't want me in the contest, that's fine. I really wasn't too concerned on becoming an entrant in it, more along the lines of getting my word out. What I really wanted to talk about was uh, a warning on gold of what possibly may happen, and but the most important thing was preparing for the dollar collapse and what happens after that, which is the barter system. But anyway, they said it was something most likely because I supported the gold ETF more than the actual real gold. I already said on that video why I didn't like gold as far as the long term is concerned and why I think there could be a bubble. Now remember there could, or, th or possibly, there could be a new invention which needs gold and gold goes through the roof. We don't know if that's going to happen. It's speculation, but it's, who knows? Maybe it goes way up, maybe it goes way down. I have cases more so for it going down, but I don't know for sure. But if I don't know something for sure, I'm not going to play. It's like a stock. If I don't know if the stock's going to go up or down, I'm not going to touch it because why would I want to gamble? That's what it is. I mean, a casino's a gamble, but they're like poker or like counting cards and blackjack, there is skill at this casino game they call the stock market. And if you see that gold's going to go higher, like say today I was to buy the ETF for gold and gold today is at $900 an ounce. So if in the next few months or year it goes up to 2,700 an ounce, it would triple in value. Where say inflation only doubles in value or not even doubles, I would have better buying power with the money. That's why I trust it more. Where with the physical gold, I have to physically sell that to somebody and find a buyer. ECF, all I have to do is push the SELL button, the sell button, and it's all taken care of. The price bartering system, I can't barter price, it's what you say the price is, but I get to agree if I like that price or not. If I like it, I'll push a sell button. If I don't, I won't push a sell button. It really works in that instance. I wouldn't be holding so, uh, gold stock for that long, but the key is, is getting out of it before the major collapse, because I said gold at 2700 When it's at five, six, seven thousand, I don't know how that financial system would work. That's, of course, if gold does get up to five, six, seven thousand dollars per ounce. So that's a little bit, you have to look at all the occasions. I question everything, look at both sides, and try to find out the best calculated decision on how I'm going to play the game. That, to me, is where I focus my energies as I play the game of life because life is a video game for me. It's a massive game. Maybe it's a school for you and if it is, that's great. And for me, it's a game that has schools in my game, but it's one massive game. I'm a character, you're a character. So everyone's a character in this game and that's how I perceive that to be. So the message like I was talking about was mainly getting into real tangible assets. Da Vinci, of course, says that the only thing that is money is gold and silver, where I tend to disagree. I say it is part of money, but to me, it's commodities, it's goods, it's tangible assets, what you can trade for someone else. That was the message in which I was really trying to portray with that was trading good A for good B, good, good, yeah, good A for good B type thing, or product A for product B. Meaning if I have chickens in a farm, and I can produce 70 eggs and my family needs eight of them a day, then I have 62 of an oversupply in which I can trade for other items. So maybe Mike comes over and he has wood that I need for fire or for building. I can trade some wood for some eggs. And then Larry comes and Larry has broccoli. I can buy broccoli for that and just so on and so on. It's, you pretty much get the gist, you're trading good for good type thing. And that's where I see this world coming. And part of my game is trying to predict future. It's something I enjoy doing. So if that's who I am, I accept that for who I am. And I like to try to predict it as well as I can. I think I've done pretty well, but I don't get everything right. I don't get everything wrong. If I were to get everything right, how fun would it be? And I would no longer want to predict it. At some point, I will have no, no more fun in predicting it, and I won't care about it. But that's later on down the road. As for now, that is what I want to truly do at this point. So 
We look at stuff like, for example, I made this uh, vision board of silver, $1,000 an ounce. I'm doing this to try help manifest the value of silver. And am I doing my favor? Of course I am. But you know what? I want to manifest a future in which the dollar has to go through a collapse. So I support that dollar. I, I, maybe I support the dollar. No, I accept the dollar. I accept for what it's like now, and I accept my predictions for where it's going because I can take money now and go to the store and buy goods, but there's going to be a day where that doesn't come about. But right now, that day is not here as of yet. So it's a lot easier right now to go to a store with a thousand dollars in bills and buy yourself a brand new high definition television than to bring an ounce of gold and buy that same high definition television and that's just the way it is as of now so i'm accepting now that's how we use it and part of game theory of course when you're investing in the stock market which is nothing more than a casino is also figuring out will you get your money and how do you have to go about getting your money because they talk about a bank holiday and that could happen and that's got to adjust your game plan based on it. But I said in my previous video, I live in Canada. It's a lot easier when you live in Canada than you live in the United States, mainly because they are saying our financial system is amongst the best, which to me is the best of all the evils that there is. So that's the message that I was trying to portray. If you don't want me in the contest, I understand you have free will and that's the way it is. Uh, you have free will, I have free will, everybody has free will. We are each our own rule makers, we make our own rules and you get to decide the rules you want for your personal life and your personal contest that is amongst your decision. So am I for the paper Ponzi? I am for creation. I am for what has happened. I supported the fact that money is the way it is. I don't deny it because denial is of that of a lower frequency. I use the higher frequency. That's part of my game, use, evolving to that higher frequency. This game is not just a basic game. This is the most difficult game you could ever play. It is the game of life, not the game of life by Hasbro, whatever company it is, where... Uh, you go, well, that thing, that board game you all, most of you know about. No, it's not that. It's the actual real game of life. You're a physical character in it. And we got a lot of stuff to figure out. I have no idea what level I am. And I have no idea how many levels are in the game. But I'm just going level by level, bit by bit. I know the path of least resistance in my game for me. And I know it is for you, too, because it's like that for everyone in this planet. The path of these resistance is to that of love. We are moving to the frequency of love. So that's why I plan my life to get out of fear and to love. That's the game. And do I love this new, do I love the dollars? I love money. Yes, I do love money. Do I love that I can help create the collapse of money? Yes, I do, because that's uh, what I'm creating. And then after that, do I love how a barter system will take over? Yep, I love that too. And then after that, that means a new currency most likely comes in because after a death becomes a birth. So the death of the dollar will be the birth of something new. Do I support that? Yes, I support creation. I would support that. And then, of course, if you want to go really long term, like I say, I love predicting within 100 or 200 years, getting off of money completely, getting away from banks completely and then using gratification as a currency. Yes, I would love gratification to be the next currency, currency in 20 years, but if the world isn't ready for it, then it's not ready for it, I accept it. But I think, and I'm confident in my predictions that it will be ready in a matter of the next 20, 50, 100, 200 years or so, where we can get away from the currency that we have and move it into gratification, meaning if you build a house, you build like 9, 10, 11 houses in your life, you live in one of them, and then you give those houses to somebody else, but people are going to be giving you food along the way, they're going to be giving you clothes, you're going to be doing the part in helping other people amongst you. That to me is love, and I think that is going to happen in the long term future, but Right now, now is now, now is playing the game. The game is the dollar collapse. The dollar hasn't collapsed yet. I'm using the code UUP under under Paul and the United States dollar index to see where it's going. There is no signs on those yet that the dollar is going to collapse in the next few weeks. 
However, I'm going to be ready, or I'm going to try to be ready for when it happens and move with the flow of what creation has in store. I love creation. I love all of creation we've had in the past, and I look forward to future creation that's going to happen amongst our evolution. Thank you for watching. Feel the love, accept the love, and share the love, and have yourself a magnificent day, everyone. Bye-bye.